1972. Don Lou, today. Jerry Garcia, 1972. Jerry Garcia, today. Jerry, you, you haven't changed at all in 10 years. You Hardly look the same. <laughs> what, what about musically? Now, this is uh, Jerry Garcia's Run for the Roses. This is the first solo album in a long time. Well, yeah, right. I'd say, I guess so. Three years, say. What, what brought this about? It started out really um, mainly because I like to be able to play a lot. That's really really what it, what it boils down to. The album cover is dinosaurs. Is there a reason for the dinosaur? Not really, except that Victor Moscoso, the artist who executed that cover, is uh, a guy who's been fond of dinosaurs, and uh, and I certainly like dinosaurs, and it and and then there's that undercurrent of dinosaurs in the rock uh, context, right, you know, yeah. which is which is fitting. I guess I, I guess I can think of myself as a dinosaur if I try, you know. So, Run for the Roses is the first solo album in about three years. Now, where does this title come from? Well, it comes from a song. That, uh, that's on the, the on album, album. Uh, strangely enough. And the song is called Run for the Roses, and it goes like this. You probably won't get a lot of play in the discos with this album. Don't think so. Do it bother you? Not yet. Not too bad. <laughs> okay. uh, I do think that uh, more than, oh, designer jeans, you'd have to compare this album with a, a comfortable old pair of jeans that feel pretty nice. Yeah. The album feels great. Jerry Garcia and Run for the Roses. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you. And you.